This is just a short video to show how a RepRap Mendel machine is wired up. This is the machine. Let's start with the power connections. If I turn it round, here we have the power input which is a 3-pin XLR connector and we have two wires from that running to this chocolate block here and that's 12 volts into the machine and then from the chocolate block we've got a pair of wires, red and black in this case, running along the back of this board here chaining these three boards together and these three boards are the stepper controller boards. We have another pair of red and black wires running up this leg here over the top of the machine and then along the back of this board here to power the extruder controller. This here is the motherboard that doesn't require any power from that connection because this motherboard is powered by the USB connector. Let's look at that next. The USB connection comes in here and then on these six on the six-way ribbon cable here it runs down there up this leg over the top of the machine down this side and then connects on there so that's all the power connections to the machine next we have the data connections the data connections from the motherboard here to the stepper motor controllers come out of these three connectors here on 10-way ribbon cables those three cables run along here and along here then down this leg of the machine here down through the back here and along the back of this board here branching out to the uh, Z stepper controller here the Y stepper controller here and lastly the X stepper controller here when putting all these connections in always run the extruder backwards and forwards here and the Y platform backwards and forwards here to make sure that it isn't fouling any of the cables as you put them into the machine. More data is needed from the end stops. These are the optical switches that tell the machine when it's got to the end of its travel. The Z end stop is here and the cable from that which is a three-way ribbon cable runs down through here, down along here and then under these boards here to here on the Z stepper controller. Be particularly careful to get these, these uh, opto switch cables the right way around. Make sure the power is connected correctly, the ground and the 5 volts on them, because getting those the wrong way around will damage the opto switches. The Y opto switch is here, and its cable is a short one, runs just through here to here. The X opto switch is here, triggered by this flag here when that hits just there. Um, and this cable runs down here, down here, along this piece of 3 millimeter plastic filament which suspends it as the z-axis moves up and down and then runs right along the back of this board here connecting to here on the X stepper motor. So those are the opto switch cables. Finally we have the cables that control the extruder. The extruder is here, the stepper motor that drives it is here and in here there's a heater and a temperature sensor. The easiest way to wire up the extruder is to put a small piece of strip board here with two four-way connectors on it. The four on my left, your right here, are the four con connectors to the stepper motor. The four on my right, your left here, are two wires going down to the heater and two wires going down to the temperature sensor. I've put those into an eight-way ribbon cable that runs across here to the top of this board here, down the back of it here, held on by cable ties. If I turn the machine round, that then comes up here. The stepper motor uh, connections run under the board here and are connected to this connector here. The heater connectors are connected to these, this connector here and the temperature sensor is connected here. The final connections in the entire machine are the data connections running from the motherboard to the extruder controller and those are these four wires here that merge and then separate and end in these connectors there.